Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. Today I want to show you a really cool trick how to equally space your menu items. So when you're using the Divi menu module, it may probably in a theme builder template, I'm going to show you how you can make them equally spaced. Okay, so they're going to be spread out. Let's say you have five, they're going to be divided into 20% widths. If you have four, it'll be 25%, that type of thing. So it's going to be um, really cool um, how they're spaced out and it's just automatic. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started here and make our menu items equally spaced. So this is another one in our Divi menu module series. We have, I think, over 25 tutorials in the series. So go check that out if you're interested. And by the way, all the snippets and things like that are over here on the blog post. So if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link in the description. All right, so this is for the menu module. And I'm not even doing this for the main default header menu anymore because I'm just, I don't like using that anymore. I think by now we should all be starting to use the theme builder and the menu module. So I'm just doing this for the menu module. All right, so the first thing, we need to add a CSS class to our menu module. And I have that right here. And it's going to be either, it's going to, it's going to depend actually if you have the logo image or not. So right here you can see PA menu without logo. So I'll show you that. So over here I have a menu with a logo and a menu without a logo. So I just copied the class without. So I'm going to put that in. All right. So there we go. This is this bottom one here. PA menu without logo. And what I mean by the logo, you know, in the module, you can see that you can actually set a logo. So that's right here in menu settings, logo right here. This one has an image set there and this one does not. And it's actually pretty important because it actually adjusts different things in the, in the module, in the structure of the module, it changes it when you add the logo. So the next thing is to make sure the menu text is set to this justified option here. I'll show you that. So go over here again to the menu module, design tab, menu text, and down here, right here, this one here, it doesn't say anything, but I think that means justified. All right. And so right there, you can see that it moved and yeah, it's, you know, they're, they're justified, but they're not equally spaced. Okay. But we need that turned on. Okay. So next, we're gonna copy and paste the CSS snippet. And here I have instructions, you know, how to use it in our free child theme, or if you're putting it in Divi, you can click on this guide to see where to put code in Divi. And so here's the code for the one without a logo. So I'm gonna copy it, and then we can kind of look at what it's doing. Go ahead and copy that. All right, and like I always do in the tutorials, I'm gonna put it in my page settings here the advanced tab, custom CSS. All right, so I'm gonna just paste that here. All right, and you can see some things happened. Um, first of all, I added a slight background color and I also spaced out the menu items. That's exactly what we want to do. All right, so let's see, I'm gonna do something I never do, dock this thing. Boy, I did not like it docked at all. All right, so here we go. The very first thing that we're doing is, is we're saying here to equally space the menu items, we're gonna say the width of our list items. One, two, three, the width of these is 100% divided by three. Now, if you had four or five or six or two or whatever, you'd wanna put that number right there. So we're just saying 100% of all of these divided by however many, all right? It makes sense, right? The next thing here is just some styling for the link. You can see it ends in A. Anytime it ends in A, it's the link itself. So we're making the link 100% wide so that it fills the entire list item. I know that can sound strange, but, um, and then we're centering it. All right, those are the two essential things. And then here you can adjust the padding, the background color, and the border. You're gonna probably wanna adjust those. All right, the next item here is just removing padding that's 
They're by default on the list items. By default, there's like 11 pixels on each side. So we're just removing that in that snippet. And um, the last part of the snippet here, this one here, that's just there for when we have a dropdown like this here. You can see there's a little icon on any menu items that have a dropdown. And that's actually just positioning that, and that's important. So there you go. There's four little snippets, the width, and then some styling of the link, and then removing that default padding and then positioning the icon and there you go you're completely done with the one where you're not using the logo and of course we have a snippet here if you are using the logo now you will have to change the CSS class I'll do that let's just go ahead and copy that and I'm just oh I'll paste over why not nothing's gonna happen until we add that class in here Okay, let's go into the menu module, advanced tab, CSS class, and let's see if I can remember what it was. PA menu with logo. There you go. And you're like, what in the world just happened? That's because I forgot one step, the menu text. Got to go to the menu text. Remember that one? And make it justified. There you go. All right. So there is a menu module with a logo that has the rest of its menu items spread out equally. And then this one, as we saw before. And since we're looking at it, how about we just paste that in here just so we can see them both side by side like this. There we go. That's better. All right. So then, like I said, you can customize it. It would be the same type of thing as we were showing you with the other one. The first one, you know, changing your number here. And then, you know, the padding, background color. Um, I have some, there's a, it affected some things, like I said, at it. Having that logo there actually affects things more than you would think. Um, but here I have adjusted the top position. You may need to adjust that. Um, and then some of the very same things that we did before, removing that padding, positioning that icon right there. Um, yeah, that's it. We're moving into that second one there. So it's really similar. It's just a couple extra things like that where you know it's just the quirk of of the module with the with the logo there so there you go i hope this was useful um you know a lot of these are meant to be customized you know i'm trying to kind of give you the core basics and then hopefully you can look at the code and start reading the code um, i think reading the code is how i learned i just started reading and eventually i just started writing um, and that's kind of what i'm hoping to teach in my CSS course that's coming out. I'm still working on it. It's taking longer than I hope, but um, that's the type of thing that you're going to be learning how to do, how to read CSS, how to use it in Divi. It's kind of exciting working on that. Um, but anyway, here you go. Hope this was helpful. All right, there you go. Now your menu items can be equally spaced. Now you know how to do that. And if you learned something today, give me a thumbs up and consider Following along, we have a lot of other Divi menu tutorials here, probably around 25 of them. So be sure to be checking out our archive here on our YouTube channel and over on our blog, pacreative.com blog. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.